Hey guys, you ever hear about Little Love TV? I want you to like, share and subscribe. Check it out, it's a bomb. Right, welcome back Little Love TV. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit hoarse this morning. Um, today, the 18th day, first month, 22nd year, inside the 20, 21st century. Hope everyone's doing well out there. I'm sure a lot of you people out there who are watching this video right now would like to be rich. So I'll ask you the question, if you really do, if you're one of those people that want to be rich, how much money do you need to have to be rich in your concept? Think about that. How much money do you need to have? I can hear some people thinking, well, I want to be a millionaire. But where did you get that figure from? Because that millionaire figure came about in the late last century or the mid-century, 1950s, 60s, 70s. And that million that would have been then is far from that million now. In fact, if you were a millionaire in 1920, 1940, 1950, you'd probably need about 30 of those millions to equate to what your buying power would be then. So when I say, what, how much money do you need? You need to rethink it again if you really want to be rich. Now, if you come from a family that's not rich, or you're, you've struggled all your life to put money together and right now maybe you're either head to mouth or you're living on credit or you've got lots of debt you probably think it's impossible to be rich and I've got to be honest with you if you think it's impossible it probably is you have to first say to yourself that it's more than possible to be rich you have to know that you have to make sure to say to yourself that I not only know I can be rich I can I've got a feeling of what it would be like and I've got a figure in my head of what I call richness because if you get to a certain figure and you still don't feel rich then you're, you're, you're going to be dis disappointed you could even end up in a, in a state of depression so you need to have a figure in your head and you need to have a way that you're going to feel at that time because it's not when you get to that point that you start to feel like that the feeling comes way way before a feeling of achievement comes a long way before that actual feeling of, of actually uh, being that millionaire. So you need that, you need that first. I make these points because I'm around a lot of people who think about money a lot. They don't really think about too many other people. They think about their own pocket and they think they're going to become millionaires or going to be rich at some point. And chances are they probably won't. You can't be thinking about yourself and your pocket to get to that stage. You can, you can put a figure there and say, this is, how, what, this is how much I would like to have. And you can even start to get that feeling about how it would feel to be rich when you have the things that you currently desire. You just say, yeah, I can afford this. Maybe it's the house in this part of the world. Maybe it's this vehicle, I don't know. Maybe it's these, these uh, exotic trips. Whatever it is, maybe it's a yacht. Whatever it is that will make you feel rich, you get that feeling. And when you start to get that feeling, you then move on to thinking about others. Because it's really when you start to think about others, whether you're going you're gonna to start serving those other people or produce something that they need, but you need to be thinking about others to get to that place. And that's the mistake a lot of poor people or everyday people make. They're constantly thinking of the money. And you think of the money, you'll be thinking forever and a day and your, your state will very rarely change. So try and think about other people, care about other people, and see how you can serve them. There's millions of ways to serve people. There's lots of ways to serve people. You think of a way of serving people other than yourself, and you'll start to make money. I'm, I can guarantee you that. And the more you think about those people, is the more money you're gonna to start to make. And there could come a point where you think about people so much that you don't even know what to do with the money you get because it's coming at you so fast. And wouldn't that be a lovely feeling? So think about these things. Live for Love TV is going to be on a journey with you. Hopefully we'll become rich together. Take care.